I'm down here with my Blue Bay Shepherd. We're at the entrance to a large wilderness off-leash park. It's uh, kind of a warm, uh, balmy morning today. It's 45 degrees Fahrenheit after uh, getting a bunch of snow, which has created a lot of fog, which is uh, some of my favorite weather to hike around in. It's a uh, beautiful morning. I hope you enjoy the hike with us. Come along. My uh, perpetually beautiful wife, Tammy, couldn't be with us today. She's uh, at work right now. But we're always thinking about her. I'm on a solo hike today with Kurgan. I sometimes do these uh, hikes uh, alone with individual dogs just to have kind of a bonding moment with them. We've got uh, heavy rainstorms and uh, 60 to uh, 80 uh, mile an hour winds coming, my wife said, uh, later on tonight. So I thought I'd get out uh, and do my hiking early this morning. Everything's a bit slick today. It's beautiful. We're getting down into the valley you're gonna see uh, the fog getting thicker and thicker as we get closer to the river come on Beautiful through here. Someone over there with their dog. Come on, Kurgan. I love the fog. This just kind of creates a cool atmosphere. Plus, I like breathing in that moist air.
you know, water every tree in the park. <laughs> I guess that's a yes. It's absolutely beautiful out. Again, uh, I feel like a couple of ghosts of the forest. <laughs> Come on, Kurgan. Now we're going this way. Good boy. Set some dogs over there. Come on. Looks like a boxer over there in the mist. Come on, Kurgan. Good boy. Come on. Beautiful. Huh? You water in every tree in the park, buddy? See your boxer friend over there looking at you. Just a second. Gotta clean up after Kurgan. Now that that's been taken care of. Sciatic is acting up. Crush down for a second.
is beautiful today. Go big man. This way. Smelling big man. Every year I get uh, asked about the winter boots I wear. I wear uh, North Face, I believe it's pronounced Tierra Masu. That's what they look like. I have some ice chains tied onto them for traction, but uh, they're great boots. They're very waterproof. Uh, my feet have never gotten wet in them except when I've gone through ice that's gone up over the top of them. Uh, this is like the at third or fourth year that uh, I've had them and uh, I've put thousands of miles on them literally hiking. They're great boots, they come in a variety of colors. Uh, I highly recommend them uh, as somebody that's out in some of the coldest weathers. Uh, Hiking and walking around, uh, they've, they've never let me down. Just in case you were wondering. It is beautiful through here, isn't it? The big man. Yeah, it's nice to uh, get out occasionally and do some one-on-one -on -one hikes with the dogs. Do a little bonding with them individually. Signing in at the sign-in book. <laughs> to sign out.
Again, they're great boots. This, again, this is the fourth year I put on these. They've hiked thousands of miles down here through this kind of terrain. And surprisingly, they're still going strong. They're very comfortable too, right out the box. There's really no uh, break-in period uh, with them. At least that's what I found. But yeah, these with a pair of ice chains on them, really a great boot. If you were looking for some good winter boots and you wanted to know what uh, served me well, now you know. Did you smell it, homie? I wish I could uh, take in all the information they take in uh, olfactory-wise. Uh, it's got to be a totally different uh, environment for them. Being able to smell everything that's walked by in the last week or so and smelling everything else as a kid I always wanted to have the senses of an animal so I could experience that I guess as a, an adult I'm still the same way come on this way So beautiful through there, isn't it? See, Kirk has got some big feet. I wear, uh, I have big hands. I wear, uh, here's another one. This is I wear extra large, sometimes double X gloves. I got real wide hands. And you can see he's got a big foot. He's up here waiting for me, scratching the ground. I'm coming, homie. Boy. When you see him scratching the ground like this, it's another form of scent marking, just like uh, raising their leg. He's basically letting everybody know Kurgan was here, and there can only be one. <laughs> Man, I had a I had a rough workout yesterday, and uh, I'm definitely feeling it today. Walking through all the snow. Well, the sun's burning off the fog, it looks like. Well, I guess what sun there is. It's pretty overcast, but the daylight. Here you can see there's a group of dogs down there running around. He wants to go check out. 
all right, go on. You waiting for me? Come on, homie. Very good. Down. Let you go first so you don't knock me down. How you doing? Come on, Kurgan. Got a cross over here. It's too wide over there for me. I think I can get across here. There's a stick. I'm coming. Step on this. Nice. How you doing? Oh, thank you. Hey, is a blue bay shepherd? They were bred to look like a wolf. They look, he looks like one. Yeah. <laughs> he brought it at me. I was like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, he's very friendly. He loves other dogs. Yeah, I mean, I saw the collar and everything. But <laughs> <laughs> that brief second where you're like, what? <laughs> well, I Way love, too far south for you, bud. <laughs> I love getting out in the fog. It's beautiful, yeah, huh? That's true. It's a nice looking crew you have. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's excited. <laughs> Come on. How you doing? Oh, enjoy the day. It's beautiful. He looks like what? He's a Blue Bay Shepherd. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Boy. Come on. Yeah, it looks like the fog's almost all burnt off the river, you know. Again, that ground scratching you see there is a form of scent marking. Usually it's dogs that are dominant that you see that do that, that tend to have more of an alpha personality. You rarely will see ground scratching from a submissive dog. At least that's been my experience, but you know, don't take my word for it. I'm just some guy on YouTube. I have uh, own bread worked with dogs uh, for over 30 years. I was an animal ward for two decades, but uh, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt, as you should anything you hear online. I'm just here showing you what I do with my dogs and sharing a little bit of the beauty of nature with you. And when I'm not getting poked in the eye by a twig and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Yeah, stop on the 
this attic is really acting up a lot today. I got hit by a truck on the job uh, years ago, uh, loading an injured dog into my animal control truck, and uh, it caved in two of my floating ribs and screwed my back up real good. So uh, occasionally I have to take these little stops when I'm hiking around to release the nerve that gets pinched. We're coming up on a uh, huge eagle's nest in one of these trees. It's Kurgan over there greeting a couple goldens. So up in this tree here, see if I can get it for you. Right there where you see that mass, it's a big eagle's nest. They've been in it uh, actively for several years. We watched them build it uh, several years ago. I even have some videos somewhere on my channel showing uh, the eagles carrying sticks to it and building it. But again, it's a, it's a big nest. It's one of uh, three that I know of here on along the River Valley. Come on, Kurgan. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Very good making friends. No, we don't accept that. <laughs> Kurgan, no. Kurgan. Well, he was just being playful as he was mounting that dog, but. I still, I don't allow him to do that to uh, strange dogs, only at home when he's playing. Kurgan, come on. And people ask, you know, sometimes, how do you discourage that? Well, you just saw how. Lots of repetition when they're young. You know, it teaches them what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. Just like with kids, or adults for that matter, if you've been through the military, uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Lots of repetition in the military. How you guys doing? Oh, enjoying the day, it's beautiful. Again, this right here is the mighty Mississippi. We're on the Minneapolis side at the uh, Minnehaha off-leash area. The other side over here is uh, just downstream from uh, the Hidden Falls boat launch in St. Paul. For you locals, you may be wondering where this is. Come on. We get into the woods here, it's gonna get more fog. Which again, is okay with me, I enjoy it. Beautiful day to take photos. Yeah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> well, I hope you get some good ones. Thank you. Pit bull up here, Kurgan's greeting. Come on, Kurgan. Kurgan, come on. How you doing? He's very friendly. Cute bulldog. He's 
Come on, Kurgan. He's growing up around a lot of bulldogs, so he likes them. Uh, how old is Kurgan? Uh, six. Six? Yeah, well, six next month. How much weight is uh, he? He's about 120 pounds, about yeah. 33 inches at the shoulder. That's a big dog. <laughs> what a cutie. Well, enjoy your day. Come on, Kurgan. Come on. Make a new friend. <laughs> That's Wilbur. I'll wait for you. Stop it. Stop it, Kurgan. <laughs> He's like, don't take my buddy Wilbur. Take care. Come on, Kurgan. Come on. Come on. Kurgan, come on. Come on. It's funny how much those two like each other. <laughs> Good boy. You like Wilbur, huh? Hopefully uh, we get a nice litter here out of uh, Arrow and Wrecker and uh, there'll be some Bulldog pups for him to play with on the channel. Gurgi, come on! <laughs> he went back one last time to say hi to Wilbur. That's hilarious. You liked Wilbur, huh? You making sure that lady wasn't taking him away? He's over here playing with a dog. Come on, Kurgan, we're going this way. Good boy.
Again, I got uh, hit by a truck years ago. It uh, caved in a couple of my floating ribs on the left side and left me unable to walk for a while. I uh, used a cane for several years. This channel uh, started out as a vlog of my recovery hikes with my dogs. First with uh, Lobo and then we got Kurgan as a puppy and with Lobo and Kurgan and basically the channel kind of morphed into what it is now over the last, I don't know, six, seven years I've been doing this. I don't ever portray myself as a expert on uh, dogs on this channel, but I do have kind of a unique background uh, working with them over the last 30 plus years and uh, I'm happy to uh, share any helpful tips I picked up along the way with other people here. There are all kinds of ways to train dogs and all different types of relationships you can have with them. I'm just showing you what works for me and uh, explaining as we go along why I do it this way. I hope you enjoy it. You must because we've got uh, almost 220,000 subscribers which shocks me sometimes. Uh, I'm humbled by it. And I've met a lot of great people on the channel here along the way. Use the heavy breathing. Just climbed up out of the valley. And it's steeper than it looks on these videos. Or at least that's my excuse. <laughs> We've got a Mississippi witch structure here. The Mississippi witch. Fog has subsided. Come here, Kurgan. Kurgan. Come here. Good boy. Hey, right, come on. Well, you hope uh, you enjoyed the hike with us. Like, subscribe, and share. You'll get email notifications when our new uh, videos come out. If you aren't subscribed to the channel and you watch our videos, we ask that uh, you take a moment and subscribe. It really helps us out a lot with the algorithm. And uh, it doesn't take a lot of effort on your part. And we're uh, much appreciated if you do. Check out our merch store. Got all kinds of cool merch. Link is always in the video description. Buy it for myself, my homeboy, Mr. Kurgan. See ya.